time isn't on our side. We need to be aware, we need to be uh, ahead of the game and we need to be moving much faster now. Agriculture is where the water-related impacts are being felt the hardest right now. To tackle climate crisis, it is important to understand the changes in the water cycle and increasing temperature, rising um, extreme event as per the recent IPCC report highlights the need for adaptation solution. In August this year, the IPCC report gave us a very sharp wake-up call. I'm afraid that we overcomplicate the relationship between climate and water. Water is climate and climate is water because of physics. And as our atmosphere is now trapping more energy, that interplay is changing. These risks cascade across many food systems, heightening the incidence of disease and pest outbreaks, affecting post-harvest storage and transport, as well as jeopardizing businesses and supply chains and undermining livelihoods. Understanding what weather patterns will affect, which farming systems will affect, which, which kinds of hazards and risks in urban areas, flooding, uh, water scarcity, more day zeros, a system suddenly become less able to deliver the environmental services that they need to. And we also need to focus on productivity through enhancing uh, soil moisture, providing crop diversification, water use efficiency framework. And by doing that, I think we will be in a better position to say, how do we promote uh, co-benefits of mitigation as well as promote adaptation solution. So Amy has a real capacity to to help understand the landscape that's ahead of us. Because it's understanding those changes in how we're going to allocate the available water. That's another critical area that uh, needs uh, that input. Really our day-to-day -day engagement with countries, with governments, with partners on the ground, that we want to be able to help bring our solutions and our evidence and our uh, knowledge that can really help countries adapt. And together we have to drive the innovation needed to build water security in a changing climate and build water resilience. It means delivering the water data that planners and basin agencies and groundwater management agencies and farmers, the data they need to make decisions and to build capacities to use that data. It means working on the research that supports the development of infrastructure and nature-based solutions for water security, technologies for irrigation and raising water productivity, including solar irrigation and farmer-led irrigation. And it means supporting the development of technologies for, for wastewater management to cut water demand and build a more climate resilient circular economy. For the past two years, we have coordinated a participatory design process to co-develop with stakeholders, uh, research for development needs and priorities, and an ambitious vision for water and food security in Southern Africa. Effectively reimagining what water, food, and land systems transformation could look like uh, in these parts. In EMI, we have come up with a series of adaptation solution, what we call is the next generation of resilience solution. This includes index-based flood insurance where high-tech technologies can be used to flood-proof farming communities in developing countries. We are actually a unique organization because we bring in that interdisciplinary strength of looking at water from all the perspectives. Even more importantly, we are also transdisciplinary in our approach. We also work directly with the governments, with the NGOs and the civil society organizations who often actually help translate our work into policies or into practice. And we do have solutions to ensure that we have a larger long-term resilience to farming system, wherein we talk about the livelihood security in the years to come. We need to ensure that there's equality and that the, the balancing out there helps achieve our, um, our long-term SDG goals and aims. And linked to that and embedded in that is, for instance, gender equality. We also need to think now about what challenges in the future are facing uh, young people, because they will be having to cope with the, the results of decisions we make now about building climate resilience. Farmers need options 
for the crops they grow, they need to be able to manage fish and livestock, and they have to have access to financing and insurance that is affordable and reinforces resilience. We have to harness digital technology, including the social innovation to ensure that the, the solutions what we develop are uh, robust and they are scalable to region where they need the most. Some of the great drivers has to be in terms of policies. How can we bring together water, agriculture, climate policies, so they reinforce the change that is needed rather than work against each other? For me, a water secure world and a climate resilient world is also a world which is much more equitable and, and, and fair in terms of who is impacted and who is paying the price. EMI is ready to step up to meet this major challenge.